here today to talk about and to to look at is is the edge and to understand how we can take advantage of it and what considerations we need to look at when working when when going to the edge. Uh, a lot more customers are excited about the opportunities of a more distributed architecture and be able to get access to more data. But you know, I think what we first need to do for everybody is is start our presentation with the what and why of edge. What what is edge, right? And for us, really edge refers to edge of network nodes that collect data and transfer it to a central location. And it also refers to functionality that is right there at the edge, such as an H HMI, local HMI, or uh, maybe running machine learning tools or analytics at the edge. So it's really that compute that allows us to either move data or provide some local functionality that's, that's, that's required when we look at these critical systems uh, that we have out there. We can't rely on connections to the internet. We have to have things that are close to that source of data. And as systems grow larger and more complex, we see that edge of networking architectures require as much consideration as any other part of the system. And I think it's what you guys were saying is that you have these conversations every single day with, with folks around these considerations. And I think it's what we're hoping here to, to solve today. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, especially that last point, Travis, you know, my very first job was working in manufacturing. I started out in the late 80s. And I mean, data collection seriously for us was a guy going down there on the floor about once a week with a clipboard and recording gauge readings and with a stopwatch, taking timings and stuff like that. And I mean, that, that's just, that's insane today with the way that manufacturing moves, the speed at which it moves, the defect rates that we're trying to get to. Being yeah. able to get that data quickly, easily, and at a very affordable rate today is completely changing the game. And that to me is what's really exciting is we've never had this opportunity before. We're finally hitting that point where the value of the data is so much more than the cost of acquiring it. And it just completely changes everything. Yeah, absolutely. And and we are seeing that right in the digital transformation landscape or in this, you know, within that, that fourth revolution of uh, that we're in. It's it's all about data. Data is so critical uh, to our systems. And there's a lot of su surveys out there that say that 80 percent of the data is stranded in the field. And what we want to do is unlock that. We want to bring it in. We want to do stuff with it. But of course, that uh, that means that we have to think about it. Have uh, there's going to be investment that goes into it. But like, as you said, Mike, it's getting. Uh, more affordable, and it's the the power that we have that we can put at the edge is unlike anything that's that we've had before. So that's what we really want to get into more today. And so I kind of mentioned my thoughts on what edge, uh, what what I think edge re re means. Uh, but what about you guys? Uh, are you guys in line with that? What what does edge mean to you? Yeah, absolutely. Edge is, is edge is a really broad topic. I like to say it's all around us. You know, it's like the force in Star Wars or something. But, uh, you know, what it really means is anywhere you have network endpoints, connected devices, that's all edge. So, you know, the plant floor, remote sites, you know, whether that's monitoring at a pipeline, whether that's, you know, remote telco infrastructure, whether that's a lumber, lumber yard in the middle of nowhere, all edge, you know, vehicles connected back uh, via 4 to 5G. But the, the interesting thing that this presents to kind of expand a little bit on, on an earlier point you made is, the edge does introduce a new level of complexity. And what I mean by that is think about like an office, you know, deploying in a typical, let's say client PC world where people are using Excel, uh, video conferencing applications, um, first off. And really the, the, the complication you have is the IT stack, the software stack, networking, all the stuff you, you typically have to deal with in setting up an office. But at the end of the day, the device whether you're at, you know, a small company or, you know, a company with 50,000 employees is basically going to look exactly the same. Um, whereas at the edge, you have so much more complications around, you know, all the different things you need to consider from connectivity. What are you connecting to environment? We'll talk a little bit about that later, but it's really important to understand that you have this new layer of not just IT and OT hardware or software considerations, but now the hardware conversation is a much, much larger part of that. But at the end of the day, you need to have this conversation because the start of this is gen the, the data that you're generating or that you could be generating is so valuable. And we can start, and we'll talk a little bit about this, but we can start with you know, local views and reporting, but we quickly can scale these to really business changing applications, whether it's quality control machine vision, whether it's uh, predictive maintenance, whether it's big data analysis. 
um, the starting place is, you know, is getting something out there at the edge and starting to collect data. Yeah, yeah and you, absolutely. And I love that whole point about operational technology. The world of, of operational technology, OT, has grown so much. I mean, back in the day, it used to be, hey, what, what of our IT capabilities can we take and extend out to the OT people? Now it's the OT people that are saying, look, this is exactly what I need, and I need it in a very turnkey manner, in a reliable manner, something that I can deploy and, and I can count on. And that's put a lot of challenges back on IT. So this is where yeah. you know folks like our companies are, are kind of you know living in this world that's really exciting because IT has done their thing in that corporate office virtual virtually the same way for how many years, decades, right? OT, it's all new, it's all exciting. Yeah, and you guys made a, a point about talking about some complexities at the edge. And I think you know, we see that, you know, we live and breathe. Uh, the edge in terms of getting looking at getting data. And we know that that world, I mean, the brownfield world, there's lots of devices that are already out there that have been in place for a long time that will still have to be running for another 10 to 20 years. And you can't, it's not, you can't just replace these systems. It's that's impossible, right? We have to be able to interface with it, get that data and, do, and, and bring it up. And so we do live in a brownfield world. And we talk about edge, it's really to, to unleash what's in that brownfield world to a more modern era. Uh, while at the same time, we are looking at, you know, bringing in new sensors, new equipment that is also still edge, right? Uh, and we all this plays together into this, the broader infrastructure and into looking at more scalable solutions, looking at getting data or de democratizing that data and making it available. And that's what we're going to talk about here. We look at the cloud as we go forward. So just a lot of momentum around the edge. And, uh, and I just wanted to make sure to say that it was, it was really about both brownfield and greenfield. Uh, we're looking at that together. But when it comes to deploying Ignition, I can uh, definitely speak to this. You know, we work with a lot of customers every single day on looking at putting an HMI in the plant floor. You know, that's, that's a, that is their guarantee no matter what at that, at a critical asset, you know, or you know, maybe that's a remote site where nobody's typically out there, but if they're out there, they need to be able to look at that data. Uh, or it could just be a headless data collection system where, uh, you know, they, they put it in the panel, it's stin rail, it's ready to go, and, and they're just collecting that data, bringing it up automatically. And there's a lot of power to that. Uh, it could be a control room setup. It can be uh, an on-site server that is running the full thing um, at, a, at a location or even, of course, at a remote asset or at the edge. All of that is considered edge, right? So... Edge is a critical consideration really for any deployment. And I think most of the conversations that we have is really around this, but how else you know, are you really gonna look at getting, getting access to all the data? Well, this is the way that it works. There are a lot of key benefits of, of, you know, working, of having the edge out there uh, from having a direct interface with the on-site equipment uh, where you can reduce latency by collecting the data at that source. It allows you to have more distributed systems um, and they're not tied to specific locations. You have more scalable solutions overall. Uh, we can have redundancy and failover. That's another big benefit of this. And that can prevent uh, you know, a lot of data loss uh, in, in, with these critical systems. And for, for you guys, I know that it's, uh, you know, it's also about working in harsh environments. And you know, when you have those environments to have that, that critical system, that failover that's there. So, when you look at some of the benefits of edge, what, what do you guys see? Yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a lot of what you see here, but it, at the end of the day, it, it always comes down to the fact that there's no way to get the data. You know, it, I, I always lo like, I love the term digital twin because I think a lot of the time people are like, well, that means there's an on-site twin, right? It's like, yes, and that means real hardware. So a lot of what you just said, it, you know, it, it's, how do you scale your organization from a process standpoint and a value standpoint? Um, because the big companies are all doing this today, the medium guys are doing it too. And so really everybody needs to be looking at this because these, you know, not only these values, but the applications you can deploy, the enhanced benefit that those provide from an organizational standpoint are business changing, yeah. dramatically just business training. Yeah, you know, you, you think about how difficult this whole thing can be at times, right? You're, you're talking about a, a PC acquiring data out on top of a wellhead somewhere deep in the Texas desert, right? Pumping oil. Keeping that thing connected, right? You're not going to run Ethernet to it. You're certainly not going to get Wi-Fi there. So you're using 4G. 
if that goes down, you better be able to store that data so you can analyze it later, right? There's value there. And on top of that, you better put something pretty reliable out there because you're certainly not going to roll a truck, you know, to, to go repair that, not to mention the right. downtime and everything else. So you, you've really got to look at that complete life cycle, all the reliability. Can I stay connected? Can I get my data? Because if you can't and it becomes a burden, that's the first time that you're going to lose that kind of corporate support to do this kind of an initiative. Yeah, and you guys mentioned the applications, and I think that's really crucial, right? What are the applications we're trying to do? Uh, hardware is a necessity, and we have to pick the right one. But the applications are a lot of times what drive some of these solutions. And so that could be an HMI, as we said, um, a standalone you know, HMI out there. A lot of customers do this, where they just need to connect those local equipment and provide the interface. But when we do that, we look at that as an opportunity because it, it we're, we're now we're talking about edge, but it doesn't have to just be stopping at the HMI. There's critical data that that, that is, is collecting and working with. And so when we look at a broader solution uh, and bringing it up to a cloud or centralized application where we have long-term storage and all that, now we can do that store and forward as you were saying there, Mike, right? We can get that data and collect it at the source and, and forward it up. We don't lose that data and we have that local interface. And, and we've always been talking about these architectures uh, at Inductive in terms of like a hub, we call it hub and spoke. And now we're just defining it more specifically as, as edge, uh, the, this, this being a, a very critical application. But data collection in particular, uh, we're leveraging edge and looking at technologies like MQTT to sub, uh, publish that data up to a centralized system efficiently when data changes perfect for remote locations where we have cellular the, or for you know 4g uh, where we uh, we want we want to be able to you know be efficient so we can send more data and work with more of that out there but get it up to a centralized system there the technologies are really uh, in the landscape today are available are ready to go and along with the compute uh you have everything you need to make this happen you put it all together right, the data collection, the local interfaces, and then later looking at ML or analytics, and, and we'll talk about more about the future, but these are some, some really cool applications